This is an off-camera make. It's a throw for the back of my sofa. It's done in Christmas colours, so it can be used uh, to put on my sofa over Christmas. And this is going to be the length of the sofa, so I thought they don't have to match the top and the bottom because the top will be over the sofa. But I'm going to show you now how I load it on my long arm. I'll show you where my long arm is sitting at the moment and I'll show you how I um, attach backing, which some people may not agree with, and um, get it ready for quilting. This is where my hoop frame lives and on top of it is the um, ironing pad that uh, I made the other month and it just fits on the hoop frame really nice. Uh, I need to have my irons on it as well. But here is my long hot arm at the furthest most point so I can fit my ironing pad on. So now I'm going to sort everything out because when this isn't in use I use it as storage because you can see I've got a quilt there, some backing, some wadding, loads of different things so I'm going to sort that out now. I have two cameras running at the moment so hopefully one of them will record something. <laughs> right, I, what I've done this here, the red prime brick, when I first got my long arm to get used to it, I got a plain piece of fabric and just doodled on it and mounded it. But I uh, cut it in half and one half I use as my leader, the other half I cut in half and I'll use it for the sides. I have got bungee cords for it but they get in the way. So what I've done is I uh, put my uh, leader cloth and tie it up with these clip things and then I put on it my backing fabric and use these T-pins. I then put my wadding batting on it and then float my quilt on it. Now depending on what I'm going to quilt on it because I don't always know what I'm going to do on the borders. Um, I know what I'm going to do in the middle but not on the borders. So uh, I load it up and the first thing I do is with the um, thread that was in it last time I used it just base it down. This gives me a really good idea of where I'm going to be quoting up to the space I've got. Because I've got these flanges on it's more difficult. That's it. So this will give me an idea of where I can quilt to. So let's go across. doesn't matter if it's matching thread or not because it will be coming out.
and that's all I'm doing here so I just want to basically stabilize everything and as I say this is the thread that I used on the last quilt I did so normally I would go across the bottom and then advance it if I don't know what I'm doing in the border on this occasion rare I know what I'm doing here so I'll go on and do that then and hopefully one of these cameras has picked it up so mm, the other camera's just died yeah, uh, so now you can't see where I've quilted but it's a long feather along there I've tied off so now it's time to take it off which is just on hoof grease from the back take these side ones off and take your front ones off first or your back ones doesn't really matter there's front off now and there's the back it's amazing how quick it is just quilting this feather but while I've got it off I'm having a look at the back to see how my tension's doing and everything else and it's doing fabulous so if I've got a problem now is the time that I can do it now if whoops let's just put this back on there now if it's just how you normally would be quoting you would move this up pin it all down like we had before and quilt the next section and then carry on but because I custom quilt this frame is very good for me because I want to do these in one go if possible so I'm going to move it and put it on sideways which <laughs> to some people will look really funny now I'm not going to be able to quote that I probably will take my leader off and move it but that I think where it's going to have to go let's just check that everything is there because that's what this is with the hoop frame is you're moving things around it isn't as hard and difficult to um, pushing it around on a sewing machine domestic machine and it's quicker and it's more uh, this is um, what's the name what's it called stitch regulator this uh, Q15 oh and I can't get it all the way I want it to go all the way there so no I'm going to have to rethink this out but that's basically how you do it I could now load this up and do it sideways um, it looks a bit awkward but if it gets the job done that's what matters so thank you.